Hello, I thought it would be nice to do some basic electronics videos and so I plan to do a few and in this one I'd like to talk about these. So these are slide switches and I'd like to show you in this video um, some of the examples that I have, some example circuits and also show you a two-way slide switch for an LED. So the first one, I guess the simplest, is this kind and you can see it has three pins and then the, the slide switch on the top. So this one we would call a single pole double oop, double throw. And it's usually written single pole double throw. And the schematic that you would draw might look something like this where here's one wire and here's two other wires and this represents the three different pins and so then the switch can choose between having this side connected to either this or this so one example of this is uh, this is a shield that I made and you can see so it's an Arduino shield so it meant to snap onto an Arduino like this and so basically what this board does is it can actually control power to the Arduino underneath and you'll notice here there are two switches and these are two single pole double throw switches and so I mean basically so there is a whole instructable on this I can link to it in the description but basically if you power this board and the Arduino with a battery then one switch here let's say this one here goes to the to this shield on top here and then the shield controls power actually to the Arduino and goes back to the battery right so here you can turn it on or off and then actually there is so this is just a simplified diagram of what's on here but uh, also on here there's another switch and let's go here and then here and then this one actually goes straight to the Arduino so basically this top switch here is like a is like an e-stop emergency stop so regardless of what's going on on the board I can actually flip the switch this top switch here and it would cut power to everything else and so then there would be no power to the shield and no power to the Arduino or this one here this second switch here is kind of like my manual override so like I said the shield can control power to the Arduino well if I flip this switch so I guess normally it would be in the down position not up here um, but if I switch it then it doesn't matter what the shields doing you would still get power to the Arduino so if you're trying to prototype the functions of the Arduino and you want to stop the board from shutting power off then you could do that and it just kind of saves time uh, I guess the last thing to point out is the emergency stop overrides the manual override so if this is off it doesn't matter what the, what position this is in it won't power anything okay so that's that's one example of a single pole double throw uh, that I've used I have another one here and if you look here there are two rows of three pins and so this one is called a double pole double throw right so the double throw is the same but in this case there's only one slide on the top right on off um, and so the way you would draw this one like this is it's probably easiest if I draw this side first is uh, here now there are basically two poles but they're connected and so if this one is in the up position so is this one and then there's like four different sort of leads or wires from that so now this side is connected to this and this side is connected to this or if you slip the switch a would be connected to c and b would connect it to d that kind of thing so an example of this that I used was 
this here. So this is, doesn't quite fit on the screen here, but this is a car that I made, uh, a remote controlled car. And again, there's an instructable on this if you want to have a look at it, but inside there is usually an Arduino connected to a nine volt battery. So that powers all the electronics. And then it's a good idea if you have a motorized robot that you keep the power to motors separate from the power to the electronics. So here, this is six volts. And here, this is nine volts. This is for the electronics. And these double A's are for the motors. And so here, there's a switch and it's kind of buried, but, but this switch here con controls the on and off power of both the battery inside and the batteries outside. So, <clears throat> so in this case, if you had like a one battery here, that's nine volts. And then let's say one here, that's six volts. Oops. Then this one would go to a switch. And this one here goes to another, well, then this one goes to the electronics, the Arduino, and the rest of the Ar uh, electronics. Arduino, and this one goes to the motors. Of course, the Arduino is kind of controlling when the motors go on and off, forward or backwards, but, but basically... So here's the return path to both batteries, they're connected, but this is a double pull double throw switch. And so I can turn off the power to both the Arduino and the motor at the same time. Okay. The last one I have here is this one. Uh, so this one is actually, uh, I guess it's better to write double pull, triple throw. So you see there are two rows of pins and each one has four. Uh, I don't have this in a project right now, but I just wanted to show you. So here, if we go to the computer, so I bought this switch on AliExpress. There's the uh, vendor's name there. Um, but let's just go to a bigger blow up of that picture there. So this is it. So the, this, these are the switches. They're double, pull, triple throw. Okay, so you can see here's one row of pins, there's four pins here, and then in the back there's another four row, uh, another four pins. So the one thing I, the reason I point this out, this uh, picture, is because when you buy these, not all of them are spaced to fit in a perf board. So if you want to put this in a perf board, uh, it wouldn't work in a, in a breadboard, but if you want to put it in a perf board, then you need to check the pitch or the spacing between the pins. So these large stabilizing pins, they aren't quite meeting that pitch, but I think I could maybe um, bend them a little and get them to fit with a slightly bigger hole. But what's important are these pins here. So the distance between this pin and this pin is five millimeters, right? And in a row of perf, uh, perf board holes, they are two and a half millimeters. So between there and there, there would be a row in between, that's fine. Between each of these pins, they're two and a half millimeters apart. And then here on the end, if you look one row compared to the other row, again, two and a half millimeters. So just, if you're going to buy switches like this to work in a perf board, you need to double check the pitch of those pins. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is just uh, an example of using, another example of using these switches is a two-way switch. So this you might be familiar with, if you live in a house. So for example, if you have one switch at the top of the stairs and at the bottom of the stairs, you have another switch. Okay, these are like wall switches and they control a light. Okay, so if you're at the bottom of the stairs, you wanna be able to turn the light on or off, but you're at the top of the stairs, Regardless of what this switch is doing, you want to turn it on and off. So that's a two-way switch. So I wanted to show you with some of these, how you would do a two-way switch for an LED. So basically, 
here is my here is my let's say my battery or my let's let's just say positive voltage okay from a battery and here is one single pole double throw switch and then let's say this is at the top of my stairs and then this is at the bottom okay and this is another single pull double throw switch but at the bottom of the stairs and then this actually has to be wired back to the middle and then here's my led so remember an led looks like that with arrows to show that it's a light so that's here in the middle above the stairs okay and then we just need a resistor to go with our led to ground okay so in this case if I flip this switch down, now it's not connected at this end, and so the light would be off. If I switch it up, the current would come through, and the light would be on. And if this is up, and I flip this down, then this current would stop there, and it wouldn't light this up. If I switch it up, it'll be connected. If I switch it down, if I switch this down, if I switch this up. So there's always, regardless of what the other switch is doing, the light will turn on and or off. So here's my example. So here, let me do it this way. So here's two single pole double throw switches. Okay, so let's connect. Uh, let me see. We need to connect our positive voltage here. Here, let me do it this way. So I just have a short wire here. So I'm gonna connect the middle here to the red, because I'm gonna plug my positive voltage in the red rail there. And then we're gonna run our, our top wire here from one of the throws. So we're gonna do the one on the right here all the way across okay i'm just going to move this so now the end this end here connects to the right of this one okay so right to right and then let's connect here's another white here so let's connect the left pin To the left pin here okay so the three rows here are this this bottom one and then the middle is connected to the red positive rail and then the right is connected to this here we have this one is the left this one is the right and then the middle I'm gonna do this so I have a, a blue wire here so I'm gonna connect to the middle pin Somewhere there in the middle. Here's my LED. So there's the long lead is the anode. So I'm gonna put that towards the positive voltage. Okay, towards the positive voltage. And then I need my resistor. So this is just a thousand ohm resistor. So I'm gonna pin the short lead of the LED, the cathode, to my ground rail the blue here and then here's my for my battery okay so blue the blue red okay to this red here and let's grab the battery <clears throat> here's my here's my battery here Okay, so now if I switch this, the light should go on. Okay, and if I switch it, it'll go off. And if I switch this side, it'll go on and it'll go off. If this is this side is on, this side switches it off. 
if the side's on, the side switches it off. Okay, and so there is a convenient way to be able to switch your circuit from two different locations using a two-way switch. Okay, two single pole double throw switches. Okay, anyways, I thought I hope you find that interesting, and I will see you in the next video.